All right, boys and girls, Mr. G here telling you my top 10 games as according to how many hours I've played them in Steam. Scrolling through 174 games, I narrowed them down to my top 10 by hours played, starting with number 10, Oxygen Not Included. I put 56 hours into this game. At first, it seems like a relatively simple builder. You got little dudes, they gotta survive on an asteroid planet thing and a 2D side-scrolling builder thing. But it's ultra complex, like you need a degree in chemistry, piping, electricity, etc. and basic physics just to play this game well. It's, you know, it's easy to learn, ridiculously hard to master. I dumped far too many hours trying to get good into that game. Number nine on the list is Pixel Piracy. I played this game a gajillion years ago. It's by the guys that made Terraria. It's a tiny little game where you build pirate ships out of blocks and you get pirates and it's just a nice casual little go around and kill stuff. I like pirates, I like pixels, so pixel piracy was a, an obvious choice for me. There's a lot of poop throwing and cannon shooting and guys dying. It's a pretty fun game and a good little time waster. Uh, and if you like building vehicles, well you get to do that in pixel piracy. It's pretty simple. You're gonna pick up new parts as you go through the game, but it's pretty easy to master and get into, and it's it's fun making some derpy little boats, and it's a good time waster. On to number eight. Domina, put in 109 hours into this game. You basically run a Ludus, AKA a school for gladiators. The pixel art in this is super violent and graphic, but also beautiful at the same time. This game is ridiculously hard. Easy to start playing, but it's super hard to beat. I made it to the final level. Never beat the final, final boss ba battle. I don't want to spoil that for you. There's a twist. So yeah, gladiators killing each other. Lots of them. Number seven, Prison Architect. I dumped 120 hours into building the nicest, cushiest prisons I could because I'm a nice guy. No, I'm not. Um, this game is chaos, but it's fun, manageable chaos, and it's good trying to make your prisons more effective and more efficient. I like builders. This one was easy to do, and just the way it's designed makes it a lot of fun to play. Once again, easy to learn, hard to master, but a good one, and you can get it on sale nowadays. Number six, I love robots with guns, so Battletech comes in at number six with 126 hours dumped into this thing. You get to fly through space, get your own mercenary group of giant robots of death, fly around and blow up other robots of death to try and get even better ones, you can sink a lot of time into this game. The main story quest is great, but you can also do tons of side quests and go off on your own thing. If you like tabletop games or you like turn-based games and you're old like me and your reflexes are terrible, Battletech's the game for you. Did I mention I had giant robots that blow each other up? And look at that one, it's got a skull on its face. What is not to love there? Coming in at number five, Elite Dangerous. I sunk so many hours into this game. It is super simulation heavy. The first thing you're gonna need to learn how to master is just how to dock with the space station without dying. That took me a few hours. This game is ridiculously hard, but that's where the joy in this game comes from. It does not hold your hand. It is hard to fly well and master this game. But they figure it out, get in there, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Number four, FTL or Faster Than Light. I sunk 349 hours into this game. It is so hard to beat this game, but I've beaten it many times and unlocked pretty much every single ship and most of their classes because this game gives you so many solutions to every problem you encounter. You're gonna control your crew in a top-down game where your ship management, you're gonna feel like Captain Kirk and Star Wars all wrapped into one. It's awesome. Number three, Darkest Dungeon. You're gonna have to put together a crew of little warriors that are gonna get messed up psychologically and they're gonna cry home to their mamas and you're gonna keep trying again and again. It's an awesome little game that just stresses you out to make a better crew, fight better, and get deeper into the dungeon and beat the game. It's awesome. And now, we're at number two. RimWorld. I sunk 398 hours into this bad boy. Basically, you're stranded on an alien planet. You've got to make a colony to survive long enough that you can build a ship and get back to the main world that you're from. You're basically in the wild west of the galaxy. You've got to build to survive, and this game is an unforgiving beast, but you're going to want to come back and play it over and over again because every playthrough you learn something new 
Did I mention this game is stupidly good as far as builders go and that they're shooting and aliens and ray guns and all kinds of awesomeness and you can build a base inside a cave like freaking Dwarf Fortress? Last on the list. Yeah, you're like, what the heck is this, Mr. G? It's naval action. This is why Mr. G's not allowed to play MMOs because I sunk way too many hours into my clan and I love nautical history and boats. I love... 18th century boats. I just do. Don't judge me. You're judging me. I'm not even sure if this game's still going. I think maybe it is. Show me in the comments what your top 10 games are by hours. I'm going to catch you guys later. Mr. G out.